Hello, we are Tavon and David from TD Adventures. In today's video, we will share with you which quieter AC we switched to and why. We visited the Hershey RV show in September 2019. It was over 90 degrees that day in the middle of September. The AC was on in the RV while we were filming. We noticed that the AC was very loud. Seats are comfortable. After posting the video, a viewer could not watch the video because the AC was too loud. Back then, we thought this was how RV ACs are. Loud, and we just have to put up with it. Now that we have owned our RV for over a year, we have learned from the RV community that quieter ACs exist. We were happy to know because the loud noise of our current AC was driving us bananas. We were not able to have the AC on and be on a work call at the same time. We also could not get a good night's sleep on the nights that we had no choice but to use the AC because of the summer heat and high humidity. We switched to this Houghton Bel Air 2800. We went with the smallest size because we wanted to make sure it fit between the solar panels, which was no problem. This is what the AC sounded like before and what it sounds like now. You hear it running? That is We are now able to be on a work call and also have the AC on. The old AC had a continuous glowing light, which kept Tavon up at night. The new AC is completely dark when it is not on. This is the price of the AC. We had to wait a while for the white color to be in stock. We found an RV repair place that charges $130 an hour. It took about three and a half hours to install the AC for a total of $455. A separate remote is used to control the AC, which means we can no longer control it with this control pad. You will always see this symbol flashing. We don't mind having to use a separate remote if it means that we can have a quieter AC. Plus, we can control the new AC while lying in bed. That is all for this video. Look at you, and look at the cat. Hi, kitty.